Mahalo for joining me this evening. The utility relocation project in Kalihi is snarling traffic. I spoke to several businesses who say it's hurting their bottom line and they're not sure if they can survive until the rail is built. Cones, detour signs, and more cones. Dillingham Boulevard has become a jumble of orange and white, zigzagging for over a mile. It's confusing because I've seen people actually get out of their car to move the cones. So it scares me because I think about, okay, what if the person on that opposite direction doesn't know what that cones mean? It's not clear. It's not clear. The rail utility relocation work isn't only causing frustration and traffic backlogs, it's hurting businesses. It affects our sales about $200, $400 a day because people don't want to bother with the traffic, go around the corners. He says this is the biggest problem. People are not able to turn left anymore. Making it harder for customers to get to their businesses. And this is just the beginning because all of these utility poles have to come down. And it's all got to go underground before the rail can even be built. Some businesses tell me they're not sure they're going to make it. Because Elvin Lau, owner of Elvin's Bakery, says he's lost 20 to 30 percent of his business. We can miss some of the like morning crowd because they're not going to have extra time to, you know, make a U-turn and then, you know, get some pastry and try to get away back. Do you think you're going to be able to survive this? We think we can be robbed, but we don't know. It's, it's like six years, so nobody knows what's going to happen. East Auto Glass Kalihi has also seen a dip in sales, but they're working around it. Because we have four locations, we try to send them to those locations. She says they also increased their mobile business, so customers don't have to come to them. It's like this 24-7. No one wants to go in that traffic, you know? Not everyone's able to do that. You make delivery and stuff, you can add like extra cost for it's the person, car, and everybody is short-handed. We are not able to find anybody to, you know, do that kind of stuff with the minimum pay. No. According to a spokesperson for the rail, the utility relocation project is on schedule to be completed in early 2026. Construction of the rail guideway will begin after that. Log on to k22.com for information about road closures happening in the area this coming week.